Hey everyone, for my uh, Mustang fans out there, this is a really great adult collectible that came out a number of years ago. These are the three one-fourth scale Mustang Cobra engines, uh, two of which were never sold to the public. The only one that was was the Illuminator on the right. The other two were, I believe, available to dealers, and then as time went on, they eventually sort of made their way out into the public, and they commanded some very high prices when they first came out. So uh, I'll go over each one in detail and uh, show close-ups of it, because this is a really great collectible to have if you're into unique Mustang stuff. They only made a 1,000 of each model. There were three models. You had a 99 to 2001 Cobra engine. You had the 0304 Cobra engine. And then you had the Illuminator race engine. It was basically the same as the 0304 Cobra other than the, uh, the colors being different. So everyone came with its own box. They were all numbered with their own dash plaques and bases. Um, we'll start off with the uh, 9901 Cobra engine. This one actually had the original order form in the box. Uh, it was $295 with $25 shipping to order it originally. And uh, it came with a small crank that goes in the back so you can actually uh, turn the engine and it does actually move so I'll, I'll turn it over in a minute and show you how everything works um, they all came with an individual dash plaque that said what the engine was what the number out of 1000 as well as the torque horsepower the bore and stroke along with the compression ratio of the engine uh, and then as far as the actual engine itself these things are actually pretty heavy they're mostly made out of metal and uh, they are very very highly detailed so Ford definitely did a good job commissioning uh, Acme to design these things at very high detail uh, all the bolts are the correct color they were on the actual car i mean they even labeled the oil filter on it so as you can see this is a very very nice highly detailed engine they did a really 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 great job making this thing look um, factory correct to what the original engine was all the parts are there they really didn't cut any corners or skip any steps in making this thing um, this is definitely not a toy. These things are pretty delicate and a lot of them unfortunately became damaged over time So uh, if you are looking for one of these things, you usually have to kind of check eBay for them pretty periodically And uh, you definitely need to make sure that they're not damaged. Unfortunately, I think a lot of them got damaged in shipping as time went on and um, They are getting harder and harder to find in good original shape. So uh, as far as the functionality of the engine I was talking about uh, you can put the crank in the back or just also turn it by hand. The entire accessory drive actually turns and uh, you can see the timing chain as well turns as well as the uh, the camshafts as well move. So they did a really nice job not only designing this but then making it somewhat functional. So it is definitely cool to see this thing uh, be able to turn and actually uh, operate in the correct manner that it was designed to. But this is definitely, like I said, it's a really cool collectible if you're into like adult collectibles. But you just need to be, be very careful because this thing's not a toy. And uh, the throttle body also opens as well. So moving on to the uh, 0304 Cobra engine. Uh, basically very similar. The way it's, uh, the scale is the same. The coloring is the same. All the nuts and bolts are the same colors. Uh, obviously this one obviously have the supercharger on it being the terminator motor and this one is also functional in the same way you can also see the uh, lobes of the supercharger turn when you rotate this um, even the uh, fuel injectors are the correct color for this engine so it is really really cool i really like these things uh they are like i said they're, they're a lot more affordable now than they used to be when they originally hit the market they were probably over two thousand dollars because there was very few of them really around at that point and a lot of mustang enthusiasts and collectors were trying to get these things so but as time went on more and more of them sort of kind of made their way into the general public and onto the market so prices kind of came down usually you can find the two this motor and the illuminator in around the 500 hundred dollar range give or take sometimes a little bit more and the uh the 9901 motor is usually a little bit less i think that's the least desirable of the three but like me i wanted to have the entire collection so I ended up getting all three. Um, this also has the, the small crank that you can put in the back to turn it. Same setup. The whole accessory drive turns. You can actually see the lobes and the supercharger turn. You can see the camshafts turning along with the cams themselves. But you can turn the thing, you just need to be very careful that uh, it doesn't bind in any way. 
but I usually just leave these in the display case and don't touch them. I only took them out for this video and other than that, I leave them in. This one also has the same dash, very similar dash plaque. Same thing with the number, horsepower, torque, compression, along with the uh, boost pressure on here as well. So. And then moving on to the Illuminator. This was the last one made. This one was sold to the public. I believe the original price of this was $350 when it first came out. But since these went out directly into the public, I see a lot more of these with damage on them. I think they got passed around quite a bit originally. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of them saw damage. So, I mean, you can even see the studs for the uh, exhaust manifold. So they really, really did a nice job going over every single detail making everything absolutely correct i mean you can even see the uh egr piping on there and everything so they they did a nice job this even has the uh, illuminator the the ford racing oil filter on it i mean you really can't dispute the level of detail on this thing it's really really great and then obviously they all had the separate boxes that they all came in but unfortunately things tend to get beat up a lot in shipping and a lot of these did see quite a bit of damage over time but fortunately all mine were okay i haven't found any broken pieces or things missing so i was made sure i was pretty particular about that when i purchased them and both all the engines they all have the throttle body that opens and this is the same setup as the 0304 engine everything turns you can see the lobes of the supercharger the entire accessory drive turns. It even has the uh, the inner and the outer belts, just like uh, the original engine has with the supercharger bridge. And you can see all the cams and everything turning. So, definitely a cool collectible. I actually reached out to Acme last year to see if the molds were still available and if they were interested in any way of doing another run i actually wanted to see if they wanted to do a 2000 cobra r engine to match my car um, the person i spoke to there said unfortunately the molds had been destroyed a long time ago so there's really no chance of them ever making these again in any way so each one has a there's a thousand of them um, if you do like these things and you wanted to pick these up yourself these are the only three they made they're one fourth scale all of them um, they all had the box and the the two that weren't sold to the public the first two that has the the number of them on the box these are all the boxes um, they all had all three had this crank in there they had the base plate they had the the plaque with the numbering on them they had this base and obviously the engine itself those are all the pieces i've only seen one or two other ones that had this uh, order form with it. I never saw an order form with the 0304 Cobra engine or the Illuminator engine So maybe they had them, but I've never seen them. I only seen an order form once or twice with the 001 or 99 Cobra engine But th all of these as far as I'm concerned are all complete. They have all the parts the bases the boxes, so um, I would like I said I would expect to pay right now Because they've been out for a long time prices have kind of calmed down a little bit they were all originally around like $2,000. Those two were around $2,000 when they first came out just because they weren't sold to the public and everyone was kind of clamoring to get them. So usually three to 500 for the 9901 engine and probably five, 600 for the 0304 Cobra motor. And then the Illuminator, they were 350 originally. You kind of see them going for a little bit more than that, closer to the Terminator engine money, usually around 500, give or take. But with these, you really, really want to make sure that all the pieces are there and that nothing's broken. Because unfortunately, like I said, a lot of them got broken. A lot of them saw damage from shipping and people were kind of using them as toys and they're really not. They shouldn't really be touched that much. They should just sit in a display case where they're protected from dust and really anybody touching them. I don't mess with them at all other than really just to turn them to make sure that everything was working when I first got them. And then obviously for this video to show that um, they are functional and that they do work. But uh, it's definitely a really cool collectible to have if you're into Mustangs. You don't really see a lot of these things. I've only seen one other person that has all three. So 
uh, if you're willing to spend the money, great collection. It's something that uh, very few other people have. And it's just uh, another interesting thing to have if you're into adult collectibles. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.